Welcome to a very special edition of DXB Today, where we celebrate the role of mothers the world over. Is it Mother's Day over there? Or is it over there? Is it here? Is it there? I get really confused where Mother's Day is. So let's just call it International Mother's Day, falling round about now. We are going to celebrate all things mums, all things mumpreneurs, and of course the role of motherhood the world over. And this is how we're doing it. Coming up, Ahmed takes us through an avant-garde food experience at Seven Paintings, merging dining, digital art, and storytelling. He makes it look good. Yum. And we've got the talented singer in the studio, Olga Filipova, all ready to close the night out. But first, let's talk about mothers and motherhood. I'm with you, mate. I'm completely confused <laughs> because as far as I know, March the 21st, which is also my birthday, is Mother's Day. So, uh, what's, what's going on? Lane, there's clearly something, and Tom, that both of you have not learned in your how many decades here on Earth, is that every day is Mother's Day. What are you complaining about? Indeed so. Yeah. Indeed so. I agree so with you. So what if it's Mother's Day here, Mother's Day? We can have two Mother's Days. You can. Okay. I've always celebrated two for my mother, and I expect everyone to celebrate me twice every day. <laughs> every month. Every year. <laughs> twice every day is also good. Twice every year is good. What do you guys do for Mother's Day? Do you celebrate the mother of your children? The answer is yes. You're both hesitating. <laughs> no, do you, know what, do you know what's funny? Um, I was at a friend's the other day and it was his birthday and um, everyone was giving a speech at the, around the table and uh, everyone doing their speech. Oh, when I first met him, it was this. When I first met him, it was this. And I stood up and I was just like, do you know what? I'd like to thank your mother, you know what I mean? For the hard work that she did on that day that you were born. You know what I mean? I, 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 I respect mothers. It's very, very, it's a, look, I, I take your original point. I mean, there are so many different Mother's Days around the world. It's nice to have an international one where we're coming to focus. I remember when I first moved over from the UK, and obviously a different day here to celebrate, but Dina's point as well, should be a celebration the year round. And that's why we're doing it here on DXB today, celebrating uh, all things motherhood. Some of the challenges that go with being a mum and others, so a lot to look forward to throughout the show. We are celebrating mothers indeed. In fact, our guest co-host today is a mother we definitely should be celebrating because she's a woman with many, many skills. But before we get into that, let's find out who it is. Hi, I'm Leila Cardan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and entrepreneur, and I'm really excited to be here. I'll see you guys soon. Yes, the legendary Leila will join us in just a minute. But first, the Dubai Food Festival is in full swing. And our Ahmed went down to seven paintings for an immersive dining experience merging food, theatrics, and multimedia art through some iconic artworks. Check it out. I'm here at Seven Paintings at the Hyde Hotel, a place where they use storytelling, paintings, and 3D projections to serve you delicious food. Follow me as we learn more. Tell us more about Seven Paintings. What is the concept behind it and what has changed from the previous show that you guys had? Okay, so what has changed is that we've included much more engagement. We've included the guest is actually the hero of our story. They are creating the show. With Seven Paintings, you bring out the inner child. Picasso said, I spent many years learning to paint like the masters and a lifetime learning to paint like a child. And this, is, was this, this was the inspiration of the show. So the show is basically about art, but it's not an art lesson. It's basically a way for us to literally taste art uh, in a way that is raw and that is intended how the artist intended us to, to taste it and to uh, experience art rather than just learn about art. Okay, and since we're talking about food, we have the chef with us as well. So can you walk us through uh, the courses that you guys are having here? Uh, so we have seven course menu. We start with the first course, which was the brick pastry mm -hmm. with the filling with the mushroom mousse. And then the second course, we have the crispy lavash, mm -hmm. we brozola, and they put the olive as the art on top. The third course is coming, the Picasso, uh, we have the uh, tiger prawns shrimp. Mm -hmm. The fourth course, it will be something about the painting. Mm -hmm. We bring the leaves in the glass, mm -hmm. and then they start the guests to uh, paint with the colors. The colors, there's like four colors. Mm -hmm. The yellow, 
which one the pill pepper, yellow pill pepper, the green, the green pepper, the red, which one coming from the beetroot, mm -hmm. and then the sesame. Okay. So it's very nice as well. So the guests a lot of enjoying here. Yeah. Uh, and then the fifth course, which one the main course, mm -hmm. it's coming um, the meat, meat with the potato puree, okay. and then with tamarind sauce. And then we go to the dessert. The dessert, uh, we bring some colors with white chocolate. They start to paint, and yeah. this they take it as a gift, as with them, with a the gift. Okay, nice. Yeah. As you saw, I got dynamated into the whole experience. It was a magical journey from the start to the finish, from the paintings to the stories told by Chef Omar. If you ever have time, please come and check this hidden gem. Yep, I've heard about earning your lunch, but painting it is a whole <laughs> new one to me, but uh, thoroughly enjoying that one. Uh, right, let's get back into today's theme, which is all things motherhood. And our guest co-host today is a businesswoman, but also uh, an award-winning singer, uh, creating a lasting impact by crafting narratives that resonate worldwide. An absolute pleasure to welcome uh, to the DXB today, sofas and studio, Leila Cardan. Hello, my friend. Hello. Nice to see you. So nice to see you and be amongst so many legends. It's, it's by great. OGs. Well, we couldn't ask for a better co-host to join <gasps> yeah. us to talk about some of the challenges, uh, some of the rewarding aspects, and that all-important balance word as well. How are you coping with the, uh, the balance of entrepreneurism, entrepreneurial spirit, and being a great mum? I mean, it's debatable whether or not I'm a great mom, but I do my utmost. Um, honestly, it's difficult. And I think that it's important for women like me who are in the spotlight to be honest about that journey and not to pretend like it's, you know, everything is fine all the time. It is a hard journey. It's extremely rewarding to have a child. And at the same time, it's, um, it's an amazing feeling to be able to mm. build a business and, and see it thrive and grow. Mm. So um, it's, it's wonderful, it's challenging, and um, some days are harder than others. So, you know what, Leila, you're a legend in the game. Uh, I've known you before motherhood, same as Dee, um, and it's so nice to see you both thriving more, I would say, since being mothers. Um, and it's, it's inspirational. So what would you say to other mothers out there who sometimes are faced with a lot of challenges and they, they want to give up and they don't want to think to be an entrepreneur and all of these ideas that they want to see come into fruition, but they're like, ah, oh, I can't. What would you say to inspire them? Well, I mean, in my case, I've always been very business minded. I am a mm. singer songwriter and COVID was um, an opportunity for me to sort of recalibrate and think about ways where I could um, diversify and um, make money off the different things so that I wasn't different things that I could do so that I wasn't so reliant on one revenue stream and I think that as a mother as a woman it's very important to be able to have that uh, as a backup and to have the skill to be able to you know multiply um, the revenue streams what I would say is that um, in life I mean, I, I, was, I was single for a long time and I had a really glamorous and beautiful life and I was traveling a lot, but that was also hard, you know? Mm. And so um, different elements of your life will have hard, you know? And then it's just about perspective. And I think that I always like to look at things through the lens of, you know, I'm creating for my son's future, from, for our future as a family. And, you know, with that comes effort and dedication and commitment and so, this will not be forever, um, and it's part of the journey, and uh, to just be optimistic about the future. Now, delving further into that journey, because Leila, yeah, you and I have known each other for a while, yes. very different times in our lives, and my question for you is, well, I think we can both admit that you can't do it all. You know, mm -hmm. people joke and say, oh, mothers who do it all, women who do it all, but we, we have to make a lot of sacrifices. So what do you think have been your biggest sacrifices and how have your priorities shifted to now? I mean, what are, what are the new goals that you're tackling now, the new projects? Um, well, I have a lot. I have a lot coming up and it's really exciting. And sometimes I feel like it's a lot happening at the same time, but I feel like that's also really important to seize the moment when you have good momentum. I feel like we're so lucky to be in Dubai. There are great opportunities all the time and, and to be able to have the support system. And, 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 and I mean that like from a varied background, you know, I, 
I think it's important to, to keep that ball rolling. Um, and I think that um, for me, what I have coming up, I mean, uh, I recently won the Spinney's Incubator Program with my husband. Yeah. Oh, we developed our own, it. yeah, which is huge, you yeah. know, like I, I feel like these kind of programs that, um, you know, business leaders have in this, in the, in this community that helps propel, uh, you know, local homegrown brands um, into like a supermarket space, which is a big ticket, you know, to be able to get into that is huge. Um, Wait, I, tell us, what are you developing? So I want to try not to give us well, the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a lot to cover there, but I'm, what I wanted to say was um, that, yeah, so we, we won this incubator program for a baby food brand called Rumi's, which is often, it's named after my son. And this was kind of born out of the fact that when it was time to feed him, I couldn't find any clean baby products on the shelves that were really, mm. you know, um, without nasties, organic, and and not something that would develop a sweet palate. So, you know, without going into too much detail, that was an amazing win for us and super, super grateful to Spinney's. Um, and then uh, I have a new music project coming out. Um, uh, in the last uh, two years, I opened four restaurants. <laughs> Um, wow! And yeah, <laughs> I know. I had I'm, no idea. Uh, you well, I know about one. one. I've been, <laughs> I'm like, I've what? Been to one. I've been to one, but I didn't know He's the other like, one. Leaves there every night. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I've, I've definitely seen you there. No, I'm. Yeah, we, it's exciting. We've done a lot, and now my main focus is on um, a, a wellness project. So we opened a contrast therapy studio. Um, it's been exactly a year yesterday that we opened on the Palm. We've just expanded to City Walk and we'll be opening our JBC and Dubai Creek Harbour branches soon. Come on, there must be one piece of advice because you've got, you're keeping a lot of plates spinning at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's a very diverse outlook. You've got a very creative mind and you're creating across a number of different uh, industries as well. How do you, are you quite strict on time with your son though? Do you set a certain amount of time during a day or are you one of those sort of I'm not a very good uh, like I'm not very good at following a schedule yeah. but I'm really good at multitasking so I'm able to be playing with him the thing is my husband and I both work from yeah. home so we're able to give him that time and attention and we just play tag yeah. and um, and we have great help I live literally two doors down from my mother-in-law which Brilliant. a lot of people would be like wow why would you do that but she's amazing and so I'm I've got that extra pair of hands sure. and that's that's super important but we do I mean we're very good at multitasking we help each other we have a great team of people supporting us there's no way we would have been able to do it on our own I mean we have a team we have a lot of people working with us to make this dream come true and um, yeah, I mean, at the same time, I do a lot of creative projects. I have a, a creative agency, so I create and curate shows for, for fashion brands. So, oh, I'm just tired speaking about it. <laughs> it's a family yeah. affair, though. This is it's your time. Family. <laughs> it's your time, all right? Put it down time. You know, I have a light here, down I saying, <laughs> here I was saying you can't do it all, and you've got to make compromises. And let Sorry, that's like, what, I don't know what that, you're I was trying about. to say that, but that was, that, that's the thing. Like, my brain stopped working. I was trying to recall the, that's why I got lost, the question. And so to answer that question, I, yeah, I have to give up a lot of things like traveling, which I love to do, um, a lot of social engagements. I haven't been able to, you know, take care of myself in the same way that I used to before. And, and not that I don't want to make that a priority because wellness is very important, you know, to me. But at the same time, I do need to, uh, to give up certain things and compromise, mm. sacrifice to make, you know, make everything come together. Well, clearly you are doing a fantastic job and uh, looking forward to hearing As more are tips. you. Thank you. Uh, celebrating us both today. Yes. But Layla's going to be right here with us for the rest of the show as her fabulous guest co host. So for now, coming up, we are changing the norms of career breaks and maternity leaves for a professional breakthrough with the founder of Rejoin. Stay with us to learn more.